Hello, Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I am here to do your daily reading, my darlings. This reading is for the collective, so it may not resonate with all of you, okay? Um, just take what does resonate, Cancer. Leave the rest. Don't try to force anything. And thank you so much, everyone. I love you. Thank you so much for all of my subscribers. Um, everybody who's new here, hi, welcome. Uh, thank you guys for all of the likes. It really helps with the algorithms, right? Um, thank you for everything, Cancer. I love you guys. All right, so yeah, I found this little deck in my little, I have this little antique um, kids kitchen thing. <laughs> it's like, it's, a, it's an old wood one that's been redone. But um, it's, it's cute as a button, and I keep all of my um, extra tarot cards in it. And I found this deck. I don't even know the name of it. Um, but we're going to, th I thought it was really neat. So we're going to try it in this reading here. The High Priest coming out in reverse. Ooh, that is not good. Ooh, I'm telling you. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and the Two of Swords. I feel like you're over here shining up your coin. That's what I'm, I, you know, um, the Ace of, the, or the Eight of Pentacles is kind of like a learning card, but I see you working on your money here, um, cutting out this person. I feel like there's another person here that can't decide, don't know, they don't know how to come towards you. They don't know if they should come towards you. They're juggling you with somebody else. This could be somebody who's broke here robbing peter to pay paul and you're over here just like growing your money okay you are almost in the empress and the minor arcana energy so you're working on your finances here i feel like you guys don't really for some of you i'm hearing you don't have time for love that's that's what i just heard you don't have time for love um but here with the higher font in reverse I feel like the divine has completely pulled out. They haven't, they're not a part of this person anymore. Uh, their spirit guides are gone. People, the divine spirit has pretty much left this person to their own devices. Okay. Um, they should have done what spirit has been wanting them to do. What spirit has been urging them to do, but they haven't. Knight of Wands energy. This person's just, yeah, and the Page of Wands. This person's a very immature player kind of energy here, Cancer. Um, yeah, I feel like they're just not, they're not serious about anything. They don't know who they want. You know, they're juggling two people, perhaps. Like, it's kind of like, you know, going shopping, right? What do I want to buy? Do I want to buy this? Do I want to buy that? You know, like it's a material possession or something. And human beings aren't supposed to be treated that way. So I feel like the divine has just had enough of this person. Their spirit guides are leaving. Spirit is just leaving this person behind. Okay? I feel like um, they just are not growing up. They're not getting it. They're, they just aren't getting it. Um, they needed to have strength. Here's you. I feel like this is your energy, Cancer. Um, and you've got all of these roses here. Um, so I feel like you're held in very high regard by the divine. Very high regard. Because you know what? You've had integrity through this. You've done the right thing even when no one is looking. You've, you've been steadfast in your honesty and your strength. Okay? Okay. And um, I feel like you're about to be congratulated here. Like the work that you're doing is paying off. You're becoming very financially abundant here. Um, yeah. And you're held in very um, like high esteem by the, by the divine. Yep. And you're about to be in the Queen of Pentacles throne. So um, that's the most abundant queen in the deck. Okay. So yeah, your finances are growing. This person could be broke. They could be absolutely broke, still a player, still playing games, not serious about anything, juggling people around, and the divine, they're, they're like, look, man, we gave you the keys. Um, and here's the divine, it's like, um, uh, uh, hold on a second, can I please get your attention or something, pal? They're not listening. They're ignoring all the messages. 
they had the keys given to them and they they just ignored it they want to play around they don't want to be serious they're non-committal they're losing pentacles i feel like they're having a hard time financially but this this could just be juggling too they just juggle people you know and i feel like they're turning back around as if like they want to get you give you another shout out you see this they could even be talking about you behind your back i feel like the divine is like done trying to get this person's attention yeah this person's that you know look there's been a lot of betrayal and deceit and lies and backstabbing here i feel like this person talks about you a lot behind your back and there's that king of wands energy on the bottom of the deck again you guys i feel like this is the one who backstabs you all the time cancer um this king of wands energy it keeps popping up you know the person who likes to trash talk you to other people all right, they were on the bottom of the deck. All right, so yeah, the the divine, their spirit guides are, are leaving. The divine is leaving them behind. They've been trying to get their attention now and make them, you know, hear the messages and uh, use their intuition, but this person doesn't want to. They just want to play games. They just want to play games with people. Okay, and I feel like you're about to get a huge bonus. I feel like your justice is coming in in the form of um, money and abundance. Okay, um, you could even get like a job promotion here, some kind of offer from somebody, um, a raise, some money coming in very quickly, kind of out of the blue, I feel. And this person, they, their money's coming in really slowly, if at all. I feel like the, then they're, they don't have, they don't have spirit around them right now. The high, the high priest came out in reverse. Sorry, guys. I keep forgetting that. The high priest is in, is in reverse. Six of pentacles here. Yeah, they, you know. I feel like they they give their money away. This could be somebody who's like kind of a partier, likes to go out, likes to have fun, maybe likes to be a little bit flashy. Um, there could be children involved with this person as well, but I get the sense that they just, you know, they, they throw away their money. They may like to party. They trash talk you behind your back. They think it's funny. They keep doing it, in and out energy, acting impulsive, being reckless. I mean, you know, and, and it's, you know, they could be absolutely broke and still just like, um, it's almost like if, if they like buy people drinks or give out their money to people that it makes them look um, popular or well liked or something. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this person just needs to grow up. They need to grow up, Cancer. And you're grown. You're doing the responsible thing over here. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you're having this victory here. I feel like you, wow, you have new love here coming in, Cancer, with this Knight of Cups. I've got the Six of Wands out here. You guys know how I feel about that one. I always feel like it's... Um, it's a new person coming in. It's going to lead to your Ten of Cups, your Ten of Pentacles. I mean, Cancer, holy cow. Holy tamole, Cancer. That came out from nowhere. You are about to, oh my gosh, you're about to get everything here, everything. Because of your hard work, perseverance, and your integrity and truth, you are about to get everything that you could possibly wish for. You're about to get the Ten Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, that's ultimate wish fulfillment. New love, here. there's new love coming in here. A uh, person who's done their work, been through a battle, learned their lessons, passed their tests. Um, they got it going on in their life. And they're going to want to just choose you, Cancer. Just you. Just you. Oh my goodness. Wow. That literally came out from nowhere. 
Holy cow, Cancer. And I knew it too. I knew uh, we were talking about your, your justice. And I'm like, your justice is going to be in the form of abundance, you know, money in abundance. And here it is, 10 of Pentacles. And you, I mean, this new person's a real winner. I'm, I got to say, they're a winner, not a wiener, a winner. Okay. This is somebody who has, um, they're, they're pretty much on your level, I feel, Cancer, because they've been through it and they've learned their lessons. This is someone very well respected and well liked in their community, maybe somebody in the public eye. And they're going to see you and they're going to just want you. <laughs> yeah, karma. You get what you give, right? You get out of something what you put into something. And this is karma. And I feel like um, this is basically justice, I feel. I didn't know there was a karma card in this deck. We usually don't get that in a tarot deck. Um, but I feel like um, your person is getting what they deserve and you're getting what you deserve. Everyone here is getting what they deserve. <laughs> But you're getting all of these blessings, and a, uh, this is ultimate wish fulfillment, mind you, okay? This is generational wealth, a commitment, this new person coming in, this new person, this love offer, this is going to lead to commitment. Um, and the Ten of Cups is like a dream come true. That's your rainbow that we keep talking about in your readings, you know, your rainbow's overdue. Well, it's here now, Cancer. Just kind of suddenly popped up in your reading which is which is very cool <laughs> i have to say and that's how it's going to pop up in your life one day you're going to turn around and you're going to be like oh my gosh i'm living an absolute dream life with a man of my dreams for real or woman of my dreams take it how it resonates it's not gender specific but um yeah, I'm seeing this karma card as justice. The scales are being balanced. I feel like everybody is getting what they deserve, but your person, basically what they're getting is left behind. Not, I mean, by the divine and their spiritual team, okay? You, they, your, their spiritual team may even show up with you. If you guys have been, you know, feeling like you have someone extra, another spirit guide, or your spirit guides are changing, you may want to ask that question to them. <laughs> Where did you, did you come from this other person here? Because they're being left behind. They're, I really feel this person's being left behind. No spiritual protection anymore. The divine has, they're kind of giving up, um, trying to give this person directions. Okay, because they don't want to grow up. So this could be more spiritual uh, spirit guides coming to you, passing from one to the next. Okay, because this person, they're leaving this person. I feel like they're coming towards you. So you're about to get new members of your spiritual guides. Okay, um, that's this person's guy, uh, spirit team. Now they're going to be coming to you on your side. All right. Three of Wands. Yeah, I feel like um, this person's just waiting for their ships to come in. They're broke. They're goofy. They're not serious about anything. They're um, in and out energy, a player. They, pro they I feel like they have like some kind of party lifestyle or something going on. I feel like they stand here and they, they feel the absence of their spirit guides. You know, it, it probably, for this person, it feels like they got no one to talk to. You know, um, I mean, you can feel, they can feel that separation. Look at how they're searching, right? And that's how they're going to feel, completely alone, waiting for their ships to come in, but their ships aren't coming in. They're not coming in. This person's not getting blessed. They're getting left behind. You're getting everything here, including um, a set of spirit guides that weren't even yours. They're just switching teams. Okay. Queen of Wands energy. Yeah. And you're comfy. 
I feel it. Look at you. You're comfortable on your own. You could have a, like an orange cat. Um, yeah, you got your crown on. You're very cool. Look at how you're sitting in this chair. Like, yeah, man, I'm I'm pretty cool, right? Um, you know your value and you've been put through it and this is a warrior but look at that pleasant look on your face you know the queen of wands usually doesn't look this pleasant and you look very happy you look happy and kind of like i mean you look like you've been taking really good care of yourselves um you look enthusiastic for what is to come all right, there's still more to come in your life and you're taking control of your life and you're having a passionate new beginning. You guys could have already met this new person. You could have already met them. But for those of you who haven't, you're going to be in this energy soon. This new person is coming in. They're going to be right up your alley, Cancer, I'm telling you. And I mean, that means that you're going to be a great match for each other, okay? And it's going to lead to the ultimate life that you could possibly dream of having. And this person, they're just still wondering what happened to their spirit guides. Because they feel alone now. And I just can't get over this card. I feel like this is their guides coming to you. Okay? This is their guides coming to you. It's a very mysterious card. All right, what else can you show me for cancer? Yeah, you could be dealing with the Virgo energy. See, look at them searching, 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 because this person feels alone now because now they are. Now they are. Um, you know, they may not have paid any attention to their spirit guides and the messages before, but now that their spiritual team has left them and is coming towards you, they, they can feel that absence. Look at them. They're searching now. They're getting no answers coming towards them. They're getting no inspiration. Who's going to touch them? Right? I'm telling you, man, their spiritual team, their spirit guides are bailing on, their, on, on them and they're coming directly to you, you know, because you, you're making the right choices. You are listening to the divine. Yeah, and it's fast. It's very fast. They're leaving this person behind and your person can feel it. They feel utterly like what just happened. I feel so alone. I don't know what to do now. Yeah, well, it's the end to a cycle. They end it very, very, they ended it poorly, very, very poorly. Yeah, and I feel like this is a spiritual, a spirit guide flying to your side. I cannot make it up, you guys. Yeah, this is the end to a cycle. Even the spirit guides are, this person's spirit guides are done. Got the four of wands on the bottom of the deck. Um, there's still a player, though. I had two, I feel two feminine energies in that picture. Um, yeah, the cycle is ending. You're getting some new guides, okay? So be mindful of that. <laughs> you're getting some new guides. Um, five of cups energy. I feel like you're just really tired of this, too. You know, and if that's their energy, they're, you know, <clears throat> they're looking at this like they missed out on a soulmate. I feel like at the tail end here, at the end of this cycle, they can finally, they feel the absence and they're starting to learn a lesson here. But I feel like it's, it's a bit too late. I have to say, you're moving on. You're moving on, Cancer, and you're about to get new love, and oh my gosh, all of your, man, all your wishes, ultimate wish fulfillment just popped up in your reading. That's how it's going to be for you. That is how it's going to happen. Yeah, this person's going to be heartbroken. They're going to be heartbroken, and they're going to continue to carry the burdens of this the rest of their days, Cancer, alone alone without spirit a spiritual team 
at least for now, I see that their their guides are switching teams. They're coming over to you. Um, yeah, because they now it's going to, after they think about this and go through the heartache and betrayal, the same kind of stuff they gave you, this person will eventually learn a lesson. Okay, and they're always going to remember that they had a chance at a blessing in love here, the Ace of Cups. And, and they were very foolish and immature about it. Someday, Cancer, this person's going to full on realize that. But until then, you have spirit, a new set of spiritual guides. And I feel like there's at least three of them. So get ready. Um, and yeah, they're going to regret walking away from this Ace of Cups. They're going to feel heartbroken, but this person, you know, they need to first uh, realize that they are in it alone. And I mean completely alone. They don't have any spiritual protection right now. None. Their, gui their guides bailed on them and said, you know what? We can't show this person anything. They're not even listening to us. Yeah, man. And Cancer, you guys may be sad about this connection, but I'm telling you what, that Ace of Cups is right behind you here. So you have new love coming in, and it's coming in really fast. Yep, it's coming in fast. I feel like there's already somebody watching you. Cancer, look at this. you got people watching you already. You're in the star energy attracting the attention of a lot of people. And I feel like you are being watched right now. This new person coming in, I feel like that, yeah, man, the Wheel of Fortune and Temperance. Oh my gosh, Cancer, I love this reading. Um, yeah, this, your new person, the one that you could have wish fulfillment with, perhaps, is watching you now. This is, this is somebody who watches you from afar. Um, you're on a glow up. You could be in the public eye doing, doing something or you could be on the internet or something. This is somebody who watches you out there. Okay? And this person is about to change everything around for you when it comes to love. This wheel is turning for you, Cancer. And this person here who's been watching you like crazy, um, this is like a secret admirer. This is this person that's coming in, this new person. Coming towards their temperance angel, I'm telling you. Um, yeah, man. And you're beautiful. You're out here gorgeous. This is your biggest fan. Whatever it is that you're posting out there, Cancer, this person loves it. And they're about to approach you. This is that person. This wheel is turning in your favor. So things are going to start moving and shaking for you now. New spirit, a new spiritual team, right? I mean, your older, you know, your normal guides are with you, but you're getting extras, okay? Because the ones that were with this person are headed your way instead. They're switching teams. And you're getting wish fulfillment. You're getting abundance. Um, you're getting bonuses. You're getting new love. I mean, seriously, the Wheel of Fortune, Temperance Angel, um, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. I mean, you're getting it all here, Cancer. It's amazing. So, yeah, you guys, I love this reading. I got to say, get ready for your spiritual team. Meditate on it, right? Um, but anyway, you guys, I am going to take this over to the extended because I want to look more into the spirit guides that are coming your way. Okay, um, I don't know what I'll be able to find out about that, but we're going to take a look. So if you're interested in that extended, there's a link to follow that'll take you straight to my Patreon. It's at the bottom of my description box. Just choose the messenger tier, right? And uh, yeah, Cancer, I love this reading for you, man. This is all coming in really super fast. So get ready because it's going to be like, hold on to your seat kind of thing okay hold on to your seat cancer i might even title it that um anyway i love you cancer um if you guys like this video please hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe and you want to join this awesome soul tribe and until next time my darlings take care of you and peace out 
Hello everyone. I wanted to make a quick video clip. Um, I wanted to tell you guys about the Valentine's Day giveaway this year. Everybody, I'm so excited about this giveaway because the decks are super fun. Okay. Um, anyway, I, the Valentine's Day giveaway is for everybody who is, has been giving me their love, their support. Um, they're pre showing me the appreciation, um, all of my subscribers out there, right? Um, so yeah, I've got some great decks to give away to show you the love, you know, it's a big thank you for all of the support you guys give me every day. All right. Um, so anyway, the decks that I'm giving away this year for Valentine's Day are the Alice in Wonderland tarot deck. Doesn't that look fun? Oh, it looks so fun, you guys. Okay, so Alice in Wonderland tarot deck, the Hocus Pocus tarot deck. Who wouldn't want this one, you know? Hocus Pocus tarot deck, the Garbage Pail Kids deck, because there was, <laughs> the people were really wanted this one in the last giveaway. So I'm giving everybody another chance to win the Garbage Pail Kids deck. Okay, fun deck. Um, and uh, Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck. Yes, right? Who wouldn't want these decks, you guys? And uh, the cat tarot. I have to include the cat tarot <laughs> in all my giveaways now because it's the most popular one. Like, everybody loves this deck in the giveaways. So, yeah, five awesome decks that I'm really, really super jazzed about. Um, all you have to do to enter to win one of these on Valentine's Day is be a subscriber to the channel, right? And um, uh, just type in the comments the name of the deck you want to win, all right? That's all you really have to do. And then on Valentine's Day, I'm going to be announcing all of the winners, okay? So just a gift of love from me to you um, for being so good to me out here. Thank you all so, so much. And uh, yeah, enter to win. And um, until next video, peace out.